Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this table report format here with unique source and destination combination or a one-way route using my data in the left side, which is the list uh, table here. So what we're going to do here is to cleanse the data, get the data between a delimiter and by a delimiter, get the unique values, and then create the combination. So that's it. We're going to do that inside the Power Query. We just need to have little editing, no more hardcore formula for that. So let me show you that in another workbook. So I will go to my workbook here. The same data. I'm going to select any of my data. Go to Data tab from Table Range and then click uh, My Table Has Headers. OK. Now here, uh, let's cleanse the data. So I will go to a uh, transform tab. I'm going to get all the location between a delimiter. And the delimiter here is a square bracket. So in the transform tab, there is extract tab here. And then I will choose text between delimiters. And then start delimiter will be the open square bracket. And then end delimiter will be the close square bracket. OK. That's it, we extracted all the location, but we need to split it because we have another delimiter, a comma. So in the transform tab again, I will choose split column and then by delimiter and then choose a comma. And then that's it, each occurrence of the delimiter and then OK. And there we have it into different columns, all the locations. So I'm going to have a helper column here. So I'm going to add column, custom column, and I will put just one here, anything. So I will put one, OK. There we have it. Now I'm going to right-click the custom column and then unpivot other columns. And that's it. We have this uh, all the location in one column. So I'm going to delete the attribute column, right-click and remove. And then here I'm going to... Choose the arrow on the value column, sort ascending, and then right-click again the value column, and then remove duplicates. And there we have it. We have eight unique location, and that's it. That's finished for table one. I'm going to go to queries pane, right-click table one, and then duplicate. And that's it again. I'm going to rename it as table two for reference, and then I will go back to the queries pane. Right-click any of this, new query, combine, merge queries as new. So we're going to do exact matching on this, just like uh, when you use VLOOKUP in Excel. So the first table here will be table 1. So I'm going to select uh, table 1 in the drop-down. Then the second table will be table 2. And what uh, is the matching column, the columns, that is custom. So I'm going to choose custom for table 1 and 2. And it doesn't matter. For the join kind, if it's left outer or right outer or uh, you use full outer, it doesn't matter. It's all the same. So I'm going to use left outer. And then we got eight of eight rows that matches with each other. And then OK. And that's it. Now on the table two, I'm going to expand that. And uncheck the custom column. Uncheck use original column name is prefix. OK. And that's it. That's the combination here. Now, the last thing here is to remove those location that has the same source and destination. For instance, this location 1 to location 1. So, I'm going to remove uh, those kind of uh, combination. But first, I'm going to rename it as source. And then value 1 will be the destination. So, that's it. Now, I'm going to add column, conditional column. Uh, if uh, the source column is equal to the destination column so choose select column and then uh, there will be drop down there destination then uh, the output will be null else one anything just put one okay and there we have it now on custom one i will uncheck the null so i'm choosing all the ones here and then okay and that's it. Now, I'm going to remove all the helper columns, all the custom columns here. Uh, choose that, the two columns, and then right-click and remove columns. 
That's it. Now, the last thing here is to add index column. So, in the add column again, index column, and then choose from one. That's it. And then move it here in the beginning. And there we have it. That's complete. We can load it. Go to the home tab, close and load to. And then let's first create a connection. Only create connection. Okay. Then under queries and connection, choose uh, merge one. Right click and then load to. And then in a table, existing worksheet, let's put it in D1 and OK. And there we have it. Now let's check it quickly. And these are the location 1. And that is being combined with location 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's equivalent to 7 combination. Now let's check the whole number of combinations. So we have 8 unique location. And then when you multiplied it by itself, that's 64 combinations. But we remove those that has the same source and destination, and that is equal to 8 again, equal to the unique number. So we're going to get the difference between 64 and 8, and that is 56. Let me go back to the bottom of this table. And there we have it. We have 56 total combination, unique source and destination, or one-way route here. And that's it. Finish here, I'm done. If you like this video, you can subscribe in my channel. Click the subscribe button, and see you next time, and thanks.